I'm Mike Popham. I am the founder and CEO of Stride. Stride are a seismic technology company. Um, we provide the smallest, lightest and lowest cost seismic receiver in the market by a distance. And our goal as a company is to enable any industry to access high density seismic. And, and that's whether that's for CCUS, like in this opportunity that this project um, or for geothermal, mining, oil and gas, civil engineering. Uh, we even done work in archaeology. Greg was referring to setting a new record for land seismic trace density. Um, to explain that, that's a lot of words, but a, a trace is a single shot being recorded by a single receiver, a single stride node like this one I'm holding here. Um, the stride technology was used to set one of the previous world records um, when we achieved 184 million traces per square kilometre in the UAE. That was in early 2019. That was over a bigger area and, and with um, using fibrosize, so, so more powerful shots. Um, but here we've we've surpassed that benchmark. So, so we've, we've achieved over 256 million traces per square kilometer, which is another another seismic world record for our technology, which is is fantastic. So we're providing a 20,000 node nimble system. Um, that, that's that's one of Stride's technologies. Um, we're providing remote support when the team need it, although they haven't actually needed much support, which is is good for us. And I guess a good sign that the the system is mature and doesn't need much um, hand holding once you're used to it. And, and lastly, we'll be processing the data set as well. We're intending to actually share the data set with the universities. We're focusing on CCUS without charging them. Uh, and again, that's helping advance scientific understanding of this area. Um, so hopefully lots of great things will come out of that. We really wanted to get involved in um, CCUS. Uh, it's, it's a real focus area for our business. And, and then Al mentioned that there was this opportunity potentially to do a super dense test with CMC and, and the rest is history. I was sold instantly on the idea. So firstly, there's a, a consensus that CCUS is going to be a, a big part of the solution to managing global CO2 levels. But at the same time, uptake isn't fast enough. It's nowhere near fast enough at the moment to, to help manage that problem. So, so really using this collaboration to demonstrate to the world that two issues with CCUS can be managed easily and in a cost effective manner if they adopt modern seismic technology. And, and, and those two challenges are um, where to actually inject and, and where do you want to place your well. Um, so that's kind of initial exploration seismic. Uh, but then also being able to continuously monitor um, wherever you're injecting to understand completely what's happening in the subsurface. So prove where the CO2 is, um, is staying where you want it to stay, understand any impacts of the subsurface of injecting over time, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, yeah, really, really, we want to show show the world that these problems can be easily managed. Um, secondly, I guess just for Stride, it's our first project in in this area, and we're extremely excited about it. So um, that's a big positive. Um, it's also the first opportunity to really fully test um, the pinpoint source system, it explores nimble source system, and the Stride node. So, so we've done jobs together before, but never at this density. And, and this is the density I think we we want to take to, to we'll want people to use going forward. Um, I think also linked to that density, I think we're going so dense on this survey that operators or potential operators of CCS will be able to work out what the right density is for future surveys. So, so they'll be able to take this data set and then decimate it backwards to go, yeah, actually for, for this type of, this type of um, site and this type of terrain and, and this geology, here's the density I need, which will be an extremely valuable resource. Uh, and I guess finally, we're just helping advance scientific understanding in a in a key part of the world's fight against climate change. And, and, and at Stryber, we're really big on doing what we can to advance science. Just a big thank you to the teams at CMC and Explore for making the, this fantastic vision a reality.